Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the properties of parallelogram. This one is under graded mathematics, under geometry. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let's talk about first the definition of parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. So paano natin malalaman na yung isang quadrilateral is a type of quadrilateral na tawag natin parallelogram. If meron siyang two pairs of parallel sides, we know naman na quadrilateral are defined based on the number of pairs of parallel sides. So what we have here is a parallelogram A, B, C, and D. In symbols, ito siya. We have this one. Parallelogram A, B, C, and D. So, para natin papakita ngayon dito yung dalawang pairs of parallel sides. First, this is the first pair. We have side AB. Side AB is parallel to side DC. This one is the symbol used to represent parallel sides. Next, the second pair of parallel sides are side AD and side BC. So, ang gagawin natin dito is to write that in symbol. We have AB or side AB is parallel to side DC. Next pair is side AD is parallel to side BC. So, ito na mismo yung ating definition for a parallelogram as a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. This is the first pair and second pair. And throughout this video, we will talk about the properties of parallelogram. First, opposite sides are congruent. Second, opposite angles are congruent. Third, same side interior angles or, in other words, consecutive angles are supplementary. Fourth, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other and lastly, each diagonal of a parallelogram separates it into two congruent triangles. So let's dive in with those properties. Let's have the first one. So what we have here is the first property. We have opposite sides are congruent. I'll be using this parallelogram A, B, C, D. So, what does it mean for us to say if this one is a parallelogram, one of the properties dapat daw yung opposite sides are congruent. I-determine muna natin where are the opposite sides. The opposite sides are side AB and side DC. Based on this property, we should say na the side AB is congruent. This is the symbol for congruency. Congruent to side DC. So, babasahin ko ito. Side AB is congruent to side DC. And the other pair of opposite sides are this AD and this BC. So, in some bilisim pala guys, nakalimutan ko. If AB is congruent to DC, meron dapat silang symbol na ganito. In other words, they have the same measurement. And for this side, side AD is congruent to side BC. So let's write that in two symbols. We have AD is congruent to side BC. And to elaborate this, be an example. Let's say your side AB is equal to 8 centimeters. Look at that length. This is 8 centimeters. And based on our property, opposite sides are congruent. What do you think is the length of side DC? Very good. This one is also 8 centimeters because based on our definition, opposite sides are congruent. Since they are opposite, meaning they have the same length. So what about 
the second pair. That's a sign that this one is 5 centimeters. Your AD is equal to 5 centimeters. What do you think is the measurement of BC? Okay, very good. This one is also 5 centimeters. Yun yung ibig sabihin na ating opposite sides are congruent. Your BC is equal to 5 centimeters. Okay? That's all for the first property. Let's move on to the second property. Opposite angles are congruent. In this parallelogram, we have four different angles. We have angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. And based on ating property, opposite angles are congruent. Where are the pairs of opposite angles? First, we have angle A and angle C. Since they are congruent, it is symbolism. We will use this arc. Single arc muna, since they are congruent, dapat pareha na number of arc. And in symbols, we can represent that as angle A is congruent to angle C. Or, guys, don't be confused, ha? We are naming these angles using single letters. Pero pwede natin gamitin yung three letters. Itong angle A natin can be named as angle B, A, C. As long as yung letter A yung nasa gitna. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next pair of congruent angles. Since they are opposite. Another pair, the opposite is angle B and angle D. Since we have this property, the two angles are congruent. This is congruent to this angle. In symbols, we have angle B is congruent to angle D. So, begin with examples. Let's say your angle A measures 100 degrees. So, this is 100 degrees. What do you think is the length or the measurement of this angle C? Think about it. Very good. This one is also 100 degrees because these two angles are congruent. Your angle C is equal to 100 degrees. Okay? Now, what about angle B? Let's say this is 80 degrees. What do you think is the measurement of angle D? Okay, very good. This one is also 8 degrees because opposite angles are congruent. Okay? In the next part of our video, we will talk about the third property. Now, for the third property, we have here same side interior angles or consecutive angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Let's talk about supplementary. Pag sinabi natin supplementary, basically, um, we have two angles and, their sum, and the sum of their angles is equal to 180 degrees. So, let's define first or let's identify first alin dito yung mga consecutive angles. Consecutive angles ay yung magkasunod. Example, angle A and angle B. They are consecutive angles. Angle B and angle C are also examples of consecutive angles as well as C and D and D and A. So, paano natin siya ilalagay into symbols? In symbols, we have angle A plus angle B and that is equal to 180 degrees. Another pair is angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Angle C plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. We have angle C, uh, angle D plus angle A that is equal to 180 degrees. And as you can see, ginamit ka yung previous example natin from property number 2. Look, your angle A is 100 degrees, your angle B is 80 degrees. Since they are consecutive, if you will add 100 degrees by, 180, by 80 degrees, it will give you the sum of 180 degrees. 
Same with BNC. 80 plus 100 is 180. 100 plus 80 is 180. 80 plus 100 is 180. I hope you learned something from this property because a lot of students are confused about this one. So let's move on with the fourth property. For the fourth property, what we have here is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. As you can see, originally, meron lang tayo dito ano, apat. Ito, 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 ito. Now, this is your diagonal. We have diagonal AC and diagonal BD. So, sabi dito, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. In layman's term, we could say na uh, kapag nag-intersect silang dalawa, nag-intersect yung dalawang diagonal natin, hinahati nila yung isa't isa. Now, in symbols, paano yun? Maglagi lang ako dito ng ano, intersection. Yung point of intersection is point E. So, as you can see, etong diagonal AC, nag-intersect kay diagonal BD, so, mahati nila yung isa't isa. So, we can write this symbol. This symbol is the same here. And also, this symbol is the same here. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? Diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We can say na the length of side or segment AE, this is A to E, since pareha sila and bisecting each other, AE is congruent to segment EC. Another pair the congruent is segment BE is congruent to segment ED. So, to put that into practice, para mas maintindihan nyo, let's say for example, your segment AE measures 10 meters. What do you think is the measurement of EC? Since they are congruent, this one, E to C, is also 10 meters, right? And sure, what about this uh, segments? Let's say this is 12 meters. DE, or segment DE, measures 12 meters. What do you think is the measurement of BE? This one is also 12 meters. Yan yung pinaka-importante concept about the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. Now, let's move on to the last part of this properties. And here it is. The last one. Each diagonal of parallelogram separate each into congruent triangles. So, let's focus first on this illustration. We have Parallelogram A, B, C, and D. And as you can see, nag-draw tayo ng diagonal BD. Now, ano yung pinakaibig sabihin niyan? As you can see, meron tayong dalawang triangles. Ang pinakaibig sabihin nito, once na draw ka ng isang diagonal, it will create two congruent triangles. Namely, let's start. I will start here. Triangle B, A, D. Look at the pattern, na B, A, D. D, sabi, congruent triangles is congruent to triangle D, C, B. Ito yun. This is B, A, D. B, A, D. And for triangle D, B, C, D, C, B. They are congruent. And for this triangle naman, for this illustration, nag-draw tayo ng diagonal AC. So we could have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle C, D, A. So that's it guys. Para sa mga iba pang videos natin, I will upload more videos about each property with more complicated examples para magkaroon kayo ng deeper understanding about the properties 
of Parallelogram. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!